Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas Holiday Edition. Okay, so does anyone remember Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol? I mean, it's a classic, y'all, and one of the greatest holiday stories ever told. Come on. It just wouldn't be Christmas without Tiny Tim and the Scrooge. Am I right? Okay, so get this. There is a place right here in Texas that every holiday season completely dedicates to this classic Christmas story. So we sent our Christmas loving co-host Ariel out to the hill country to go check out this very popular holiday hotspot. From the shopping to the carriage rides to the 60 foot slide of snow, Dickens on Main transforms Bernie's Hill Country Mile into a vintage winter wonderland for one incredible weekend every November. This amazing holiday extravaganza encompasses all the joyful festivities Christmas has to offer, allowing everyone, young and old, to feel the magic and get in the holiday spirit. I'm here on the Hill Country Mile in Bernie, Texas, and let me tell you, I literally feel like I walked into a Charles Dickens novel. The party is just getting started and it's going well into the night, so what do you say? Let's go check it out. First on our list of things to see and do, one of my favorite activities, shopping, and it's the perfect season for it. Hi, what do y'all have here? This is all grass from the jungles of Brazil, cool. but it's naturally gold. Brazil that it can actually find grass this color. Ooh, look at those. Those are gorgeous. I think I'm gonna wear those to my next Christmas party. So the sun hasn't even gone down and the festivities are already booming. I mean, take a look at these kids. They're having an absolute blast. After visiting some of the street's famously cute shops, we met up with Dickens on Main Director of Marketing, Kirk Thompson, to learn a little bit more about this unique holiday festival. Charles Dickens, we feel like, is almost the epitome of Christmas. So this event started 19 years ago with just some of the local shopkeepers dressing up in Victorian costumes, and it's grown and grown and grown, and it's turned into this. An entire street, blocks and blocks with villages everywhere, and we just wanted to really embrace that old old world vintage Christmas. This actually, it only happens once a year, right? Once a year, but it's every Thanksgiving weekend without fail. So next year will be our 20th anniversary of Dickens. Everyone spreads out, takes a walk around town. Everything's lit up. You get Victorian carolers and people dressed up in things to do. It's the perfect post Thanksgiving event. It's been amazing so far and it's really just getting started. What are some of the must sees at Dickens on Main? We have snow at Dickens on Main. We will have snow blowing all down Main Street. We have a snow area down here in Scrooge Village where we've actually blown in actual snow. We have a 60 foot ice slide so you can get a feel of sledding down. But the best part of all is just strolling down Main Street Grab a hot chocolate or your favorite drink. Look at the street performers, listen to the Christmas music. It's an experience you will not find anywhere else. Welcome back to the show where Ariel and crew are in Bernie, Texas, exploring the Hill Country Mile, which has been totally transformed into a Christmas celebration known as Dickens on Main. Now, we couldn't come out to Dickens on Main without getting to chat with Mr. and Mrs. Dickens. What has been your absolute favorite part about this tradition? Oh, I absolutely love watching the little girls. Their faces light up and lots of shops are open. So it's so much fun to shop tonight. There is a gentleman that has memorized the Christmas Carol. He does the whole play, Christmas Carol. He does all the parts and he's just amazing. So there's lots of things to do out here. So here's a question for y'all. What do y'all think is one of the most popular events here at Dickens on Main? Do you need a hint? It involves ice and chainsaws. This is gonna be good. 
This over here is an ice sculpting competition. Obviously, there were no chainsaws back in Dickens' day, but it's ice sculpting. I mean, you can't say no to that. So after seeing a block of ice come to life, it was time to pay a visit to the man of the hour, good old Saint Nick. Santa, thank you so much. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and then I'll get to the really All good right. stuff. Who's your favorite reindeer? Donder. What's your favorite Christmas carol? Silent Night. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. <laughs> All right, now I here's... I love Christmas. Me too. And I think I've been really good this year, and I have a few things that I'd like to ask. All right. Okay, first off, we work with Yolo, Texas. Yolo, so, Texas. You only live once. So if we could go national, that would be awesome. Hush. Great show. Oh, thank you. Great show. I think so too. And then the last thing, if you can make it happen, would be super awesome. You could get me cast in a Hallmark Christmas movie. That would Have be amazing. Have you tried out? I haven't. They told me I needed connections, and I figured, why not come talk to Santa? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Let me go to work for you. Oh, well, thank you so much, Santa. We hope you have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. And a Happy New Year to you all. After we talked to the big guy, we had the opportunity to chat with some of the festival goers who were definitely getting into the holiday spirit. Loving it. There's tons of stuff. The kids are having a great time. The attractions that they have, they have the really cool shows, the, the sledding, the snowball fighting. It's a really good family experience. You definitely create a lot of memories here. What has been your favorite part about today? Being on the carriage ride. I got to play in the snow and it was really cold. But before we headed back to the studio, I had to grab myself a delicious hot cocoa float. All right, y'all, I had an amazing time. I got to do some shopping, I got to see some great performances, and I got up close and personal with Santa. If you're ever in the Bernie area next year, you have to put Dickens on Main on your list. As for now, I'm gonna enjoy my hot cocoa and take in the rest of the festival. Start planning for next year's premier holiday event and check out the beautiful hill country all year long by visiting the links below.